You're listening to Dean Michael here on True Radio, the home of proper good music, and on Sundays, proper good interviews. And this week, we've got a very, very good friend of mine, and it's Mr. Flint Bedrock. Hi, Flint. Hi, Dean. Are you enjoying this music still? <laughs> oh, <it's, laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Your show is completely amazing. I'm oh, having a great time. I know you're listening quite a lot, don't you? On different weeks when I've got different people on, it's it's nice. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, fantastic. And we've played some of your early music as well or, or, already tonight on uh, on True Radio. But we've well, talked. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. We love it. We we often play your music, so it's fantastic. But you've got this new single out, which we were talking about earlier in the program. It's called "Going Back Home," and you've recorded it in Leeds um, with a different producer to last time. Why was that, Flint? Uh-huh. Why did you, Why did you decide to do that? I think every sort of project that I embark on, I always try to uh, do a little bit more to build on what I've done previously. Uh, to try to perfect the sound and the experience for the listener. Uh, With this particular one, I I really wanted to do something quite experimental because if you listen to the song, the underlying sort of rhythm on the track is Afrobeats. So it's a a song that you can really dance to. It's got a nice rhythm behind it, Uh, but it's quite poppy on the top end. And, you know, uh, because for me, it's trying to get the balance of having uh, the message translate in a song but still having that sort of vibe where people can dance and enjoy the, the, the song. Uh, and I think with all my music, I've always sort of thought uh, I want to increase the tempo and the energy in the song so that even though, because I make music really that centered around sort of pertinent issues of the day, uh, things that I think perhaps are important at a particular time. Uh, if you look at all my sort of songs, they have a very sort of, a uh, strong storyline behind it. So with this one, like we were discussing before, this is about family. Uh, it's uh, To me, it's a, it's a very important thing that we ought to perhaps look at. Uh, but it's trying to get the balance be, be between getting the message through, but still having a fun song that people can enjoy and dance to. So that's why we sort of did that. And I went with a fantastic producer called Oli, uh, Oliver uh, Secunda from Beat Street Studio up in Leeds, uh, and a guy called Evan Martin, who's a, a student at Huddersfield University. Brilliant guys. Fantastic. Well done. I've noticed very, very catchy, the hooks there and everything. It's, you know, you've got that beat going, like you're saying, it's got this dance beat to it. And we're going to be playing oh. it very soon. Uh, but before we do that, let's uh, tell everybody where you can get it and how we can do it. You can pre-order this. It's con- going to be released on the 27th of August, which is like next oh. week. You know? So what, what happens there? Why do you pre-order then, um, Flint? What happens there? So pre-ordering sort of allows the song to, on the day that it gets released, which is the 27th of August, all of these pre-ordered account, or pre-orders are counted towards uh, the sales in that first week of release, which can help the song to chart. And if it charts, then a lot more people are going to hear it. It's going to get playlisted and all of these wonderful things that every artist sort of dreams about can happen. So really it's, it's very important for people who do enjoy the song and who want to support me to pre-order the song. Uh, you literally don't need to pay anything. You just pre-save, go on iTunes, search for the song, Flint Bedrock, the, the title of the song is Going Back Home. Uh, find the song, pre-order it. And what happens is when the song is released, is then automatically added onto your playlist and then the payment is taken out. Uh, but initially, all you're doing is you're showing that commitment. So it really does help drive the sales. Right. That's that's a good idea then, a great thing. And it'd be wonderful if people can help by doing that. Uh, it'll help you get in the charts straight away, hopefully. Now, where can people contact you, Flint? Do you have a website? Do you have a Facebook account and all that, you know? Yeah, so I think the the, the best place to sort of contact me, which is where I'm trying to build uh, my my, my followers, is perhaps on Twitter and Instagram. And on both platforms, my handle is at Flint Bedrock. Uh, It's it's pretty simple. You can find me at Flint Bedrock on Twitter and, and on Instagram. 
And uh, I always follow back. You know, if you let me know that you came through this show, I will be absolutely happy to know that, obviously, you know, you're listening to my good friend, Dean Michael. <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny how we met, wasn't it, Flint? Because we, we met on, on Twitter, actually. I was looking for another friend of mine, Flint Bedrock. Uh, sorry, uh, <laughs> Andrew Flint. <laughs> Flint off, yes. <laughs> yeah, obviously you're Flint Bedrock, and I got mixed up with the name. With the name, and um, we eventually got contacted each other and started speaking on there. And uh, we've become very good friends now, which is great. You know, we help each other doing different projects and things. So, Flint, it's been wonderful having you on the show tonight. It really has, and um, I wish you all the best, and all our listeners will do as well. So I know you got a lot of um, followers from from True Radio. But um, yes, it's been wonderful. So all it leaves for me to do is for you, ask you to introduce your song, if you will. Fantastic. So first of all, I'm just going to say thank you very much to the listeners. And uh, here is my new single titled Going Back Home. 